What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to, uh, well, today I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna take a day off from work and DoorDash and everything. It's a beautiful day today. Nice sunny day. Can't really complain with that. It's all you can ask for. So I'm hitting up to the gym. Today we're gonna do an install video. Uh, we're gonna do the fourth tail, uh, brake light, sorry, on the uh, 2023 BRZ. And we're going to, uh, it's basically like an F1 tail light. You probably see, saw by the uh, scene, saw whatever the hell it may be thumbnail and you saw it already. So today we're gonna do an install, see how she works. And then I'll give you a little uh, nighttime roller and show you what it looks like at nighttime. Looks like my neck's like completely. How you doing? We're gonna grab some water. What better place to go and do it than the Green Hill look off? It's a little place where it's like a fresh brook. So you can always go and grab fresh water and it tastes the best out of anywhere. Let's enjoy some driving. Funny little thing about that turn. When I was growing up, my dad used to take us on this road all the time with our old Civic. And back there, it used to be before they updated it and kind of like grooved it out for a road. It used to be a little embankment where you could drive on like fucking a rally car. And dad used to always do it because we loved it. So it's, uh, it's one of those memories that are ingrained in your mind and you'll never forget. So kind of like brought on the, the fun in the car. Welcome back. We're gonna get that install going. Yeah, the new brake light here, fourth brake light. As you can tell, quite the difference. A lot more aggressive. Lay down with the fire ants. Good bit. There's three clips that we gotta take off. Where's she at? There's one clip here, one clip there, and another quick clip here. Just pop those off right quick. One down, two down. There we go. Mission accomplished. All we're gonna do now is just pop her off. Try this again. Much easier this time. I don't wanna break it. There we go. Easy. So now, all you gotta do is there's two little 10, uh, 10 millimeters. Get that out. Leave in slightly so she don't fall. So the first one's done. The second one out is in a little housing so it won't completely fall off. So all we do is pop it in. The little wiring harness is in here so you don't break your wiring harness, don't pull it out too far. There we go. To take this one off, it's just one of the ones where you'll see this little clip here. Push it down with a flathead or wherever you have access to. The next part is we gotta take this little cover off. Grab your flathead, put it in, and she'll just pop off right quick like that. Pop that off. There is three 10 mils that you have to take the tail light off. Ouch. It was worth not breaking the tail light. <laughs> that one kinda hurt. Couple screws out. So, in theory, all we have to do is pop the back tail light out. There we go. Just gonna not be scared, I guess. It's the small winds, people. It's the small winds. <laughs> we got the access to the harness. You'll see a little hole that we gotta feed her through to, through right there. So we're gonna feed something through there to try to get the harness up. Here comes the fun part. Insert, I'm taking this apart. Oh, that's so sexy. Out your harness. Click. This part goes back into your headlight, and this part go is the extension for your wiring harness. That part that I just showed you will connect to this part of the wiring harness, which you feed down. Grab my tape. So all I'm gonna want to do is basically tape around like that. Don't mind me. New to this whole YouTube and experience, nobody ever said it was going to be like this, but it's kind of fun. We should, in theory, oh yeah, that is satisfying, makes me happy. All we do now is plug her into the harness, make sure she's in right, Oop. feed it back down, all the access is down there, and you just have this hanging out, 
all the hard parts done. Just want to grab your tail light. Boop. Make sure all your stuff is fed in. Make sure everything's lined up. That goes in way easier than it comes out with all the bolts. Snug it to where it's not going to break. Sorry about the excess noise. Nice and snug so it's not going to break. So I didn't really realize, but I guess I was taking pictures, not videos. So to throw this back on, all you got to do is, is your wiring harness will be right there. You want to zip tie it up, tuck it in. Make sure it's all good to go. Put the two fasteners in. So there's one middle one that just clips in, holds it in. And then there's two of the 10 mil 10 millimeter that you took off. Screw those back in to where they were just nice and tight. You don't want to break it all. Throw your three clips in and then boom, voila. So I'll jump in and show you the running sequence. Fingers crossed it works. <laughs> it would help if I had the key. stuck around this long in the video i appreciate you as always stick around a little longer and i'll wait until nighttime and we'll give you a true shot of what it actually looks like in a couple rollers so thanks for sticking around we got a couple uh, scrapes and cuts and bruises but eaten by a couple fire ants but it was all worth it all for you guys <laughs> see you soon <laughs>